Welcome to the Complete Herbal Guide, your number one go-to that will assist you and advance you along your journey of achieving the health, healing, and well-being that you deserve. Now let's get in today's show with our host, Stacy Chalemi. Today we're going to learn about athlete's foot and how to heal it naturally. For anyone who doesn't know what athlete's foot is, athlete's foot is a common fungal infection of the skin. In an acute flare-up, the skin of the foot is red or white with scales, cracks, inflammation, cuts, and blisters. There is itching, burning, and stinging. Most often it occurs in between the toes. During the acute flare-up, secondary bacterial infection is also common. In chronic athlete's foot, the skin of the sides and the sole of the foot is pink and scaly, and there is no itchiness. The fungus lives off of dead skin cells and thrives in the warm, damp environments, such as the floors around the gym locker rooms and indoor swimming pools. Athlete's foot sometimes can be confused with these conditions. Dyshydrotic dermatitis, allergic contact emphysema, atopic emphysema, physeritis, and etherasthma. A lot of people try to cure athlete's foot at home, but you should really see a medical doctor if you see any of the following. If there is swelling in your foot or leg and you develop a fever, if you notice an accumulation of pus in the blisters or cracks in your skin, and if your symptoms interfere with normal activity, these are when you should actually go see your medical doctor. Athlete's foot is contagious and once it takes hold, it can be quite tenacious. So it's important to take the following steps to prevent reinfection. One, keep your feet thoroughly dry, especially between your toes. Two, wear cotton socks and change your socks daily. Three, do not wear tight, closed toe shoes. Moisture and heat cause athlete's foot to thrive. Four, do not go barefoot in public places. Wear flip-flops. Five, use a foot powder to keep your feet dry. Simple cornstarch makes a good foot dust in powder. Six, wash socks in the hot water setting of a washing machine. If you're looking to heal your athlete's foot naturally, here are some herbs and essential oils that can actually help cure athlete's foot. One, tea tree oil. The most common natural treatment for athlete's foot is the essential oil tea tree oil. Tea tree oil works as well as over-the-counter foot medications. It has antifungal properties. Tea tree oil can be applied directly to the skin three times a day, covering the affected area. About four to ten drops is sufficient. Continue this for two weeks after the fungal infection seems to have disappeared to make sure that it is gone completely. Tea tree oil also helps with fungal infections of the nails. Tea tree oil can also be mixed with aloe vera gel. About four ounces of aloe vera gel to a half a teaspoon of tea tree oil can be combined in a spray bottle and applied twice daily. Allow the feet to dry before putting on any shoes or footwear. Tea tree oil can be found at the health food store. Be sure to buy 100% tea tree oil. Always check your ingredients before you actually buy the product. Another good oil to help with athlete's foot is grapefruit seed extract. Grapefruit seed extract, which is available at the health food stores, is reported to have had significant antifungal effects. Add drops of grapefruit seed extract to a wet palm and then apply it to the feet two to three times a day or follow the manufacturer's recommendations. You can also add it to washing machines when you're washing your socks. You can also use garlic to help cure your athlete's foot. Put crushed garlic into dry socks before bed. Raw garlic can help to kill the athlete's foot fungus. 
Now here's an Ayurvedic remedy that you could use to help cure your athlete's foot. Athlete's foot is also related to the Pitta and Kapha institutional doshas, which has a tendency to sweat. Begin by cleaning the foot area with tea tree oil, about four to 10 drops. Then combine one teaspoon of aloe vera gel with a half a teaspoon turmeric. Apply this mixture to the feet every morning and night and then cover them with old socks. Turmeric will stain the sheets and socks. This is why you have to do that. Now after two weeks, if there are signs of improvement, continue with a once a day application of this mixture for another week. If there has been any discoloration of the skin due to the turmeric, it will fade within two weeks. Also, the foods you eat matter. The foods you eat can actually help with reducing or curing your athlete's foot. People with chronic or reoccurring athlete's foot should avoid excessive consumption of yeast products such as bread and other baked goods, as well as vinegar and alcohol. People with higher take of yeast may be more prone to athlete's foot. I hope these suggestions are helpful and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the Complete Herbal Guide channel and like its video. To stay connected with me, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at The Herbal Guide. Thank you and I'll catch up to you in my next video.